Hey, it's Robert Johnson here. I'm here in my uh, tool shed again, and uh, it's just great. We have it set up right where we can do. You know what? It's all about how you set up work. You know, you got to set up work close to where you are. You know, saves a lot of time. You know, now so there's a tiny house and we're building there, and uh, yeah, here's the uh, here's the little shed we got going on here. Got little different racks and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's all good. I made mention of my friend earlier, and I I was thinking. Um, I was thinking Souk, but I actually said Duncan. He's actually my friend. I, I have to clarify this because there's a huge difference between people who are from Duncan, Vancouver Island, and people from Souk, Vancouver Island. And, uh, yeah, you know, you know, Duncan people are great, you know, but there's something about Souk people. There's just, there's this, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyway, they're, he's a little bit rough on the edges. Um, but, man, if you're having woman troubles... Don is the guy to go to. He knows he knows the stuff. You know, like I've gone to him many times. Actually, actually Bettina, if you've seen this, I've only gone to him twice. Maybe a little bit more. Asked him for help. But anyway, enough about that. Um, here, I wanted to make mention on this tiny house here. Forgot to mention that if you're gonna be doing a tiny house trailer, um, Think about your layout and what you want to have on your floor and if there's going to be any loads on there. I had um, I had the company that built this tiny house trailer put it in an, a steel beam to support. Um, basically, I am putting in a spiraling stair and the spiraling stair is going to be a chunk of steel with a bunch of heavy treads on it. And the idea is, if you want to move this in the future, is to remove the spiraling stair pole and all the treads out, and just to make it as light as possible. So I had them put that in there, so that the where the spiraling stairs is going to go, it's going to go right on that steel beam, and and it's not going to have any flex or anything like that. So that's just something to think about. But anyway, um, we're having lots of fun, and it's another beautiful day here in Esket. All right, have a good day. We are in the process of laying the sheathing down now. So if you can see right in the background, we have that one sheet. I, we left that off just so that we can just show you what's happening and what you can see down in the floor. Basically, it's just your standard sheeting gluing down to the, to the joist and also to the steel. And we're going to slightly overhang the last piece so that to increase the inside wall there. All right, here we got... Don, and uh, you're ready? All right, here we go. As you can see, I'm a slight touch bit faster than Don. But where Dawn gets me is in wisdom. It's not always the quick reserve dog that gets it. It's the slower. There you go, Dawn. That's beautiful. You know, being out here in the caribou is just beautiful, the smell of the trees. And you know what else is also great is the smell of PL glue mixed in with the pine trees. It's just wonderful. All right, great, over and out.